Welcome Taurus. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance right now in love. Um, could be anything to do with love, be it with yourself, friendships, relationships, um, family, co-workers, whatever. Okay, so let's have a look. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Three cards for Taurus, please. Okay, we've got three cards here for you, Taurus. Let's have a look. The first card here is My Beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united, for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing oh i love that that's nice okay the next one we have here is sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred and the last one here is trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform nice oh that's really cool Okay, so let's look further into this. It's really lovely. All right. Tell me more about my beloved. My beloved, let me read this again for you, Taurus. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Okay. Nothing is missing. Tell me more about my beloved for Taurus, please. Taurus. Um, one more card for my beloved. Thank you. Okay, so the first card we have here is dreams. Believe in your dreams. I wonder if some of you have been dreaming about your beloved. Or it could be the case that some of you haven't met them yet and in your heart you can feel it. This is really quite a deep, oh, a real deep, I don't know, I want to say soulmate, but it's more than that. We've got the labyrinth here and we've got cosmic child. I want to say with this Taurus is... I feel like no matter what you do, whatever is meant to be is going to be. Okay, there's no need to go searching so hard for what it is that is inevitable. It's going to happen anyway. Um, I would say to you that while you wait, um, that it's important for you to get yourself on track so that you can be the best version of yourself for when this person arrives. For when they arrive either back into your life or into your life period. Okay, so we have new beginnings here. Look at this. New beginnings. This is like this rising up, right? What does it say? Begin your new life. I feel like right now, Taurus, more focus needs to be put into you because there's this sense of wanting the external to fulfill you, um, but that can't happen. It's up to you to fulfill yourself. Yeah. Flow and vision. Mm. Wow. Flow and vision. Going with the flow. Because, yeah, it's like it's like this dreams, right? There's a vision that you have, but I feel like, do you know what I feel like? It's more that, that the vision is a feeling. It's more a state of the heart. A vision of the heart. 
and I feel as though this is what this is what you're heading towards. Um, there's a sense also of impatience with it too. Of come on, like why isn't it happening yet? I'm doing all this stuff. I'm doing what needs to be done. Why isn't it coming yet? When there's this impatience there. For some of you, it might not be for all of you, but for some of you, when this impatience is there, it's causing resistance because what you're saying and the vibration that you're giving out is that it doesn't exist in your realm of being when in fact it does exist because the love that you seek is here within you. And it doesn't. that doesn't mean to say that you won't meet this person that you come into sacred union with. But first and foremost, you must come into sacred union with yourself in order to be a match for that vibrational energy that they offer, that they bring to the table, yeah? Honour and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. This is the relationship also with yourself. Okay, so tell me more about sacred union for Taurus, please. Tell me more about this. And this is it, I think, even if this person isn't in your life right now, it's honouring the union anyway, because it is sacred, and that wasn't right, coming out like that. Yeah. One more card. One more card for Sacred Union for Taurus, please. Thank you. Let me pick this up. Okay, so we have the first one here is potential. Yes, look at this. Right, the potential of what can be. Think big for your future. Yep. And, and this is also about not settling, right? Making sure that you are clear on what it is that you want, what you, you, you expect, how you... Sorry, how you expect to be treated. Yes, being clear on that. Potential. Yeah. See, I want to say here with the sacred union is that often, more often than not, we can have this idea of what that looks like. And when it doesn't fit that picture, we dismiss it as though it's not sacred enough. We have to remember that we are also human, right? There's going to be trials and tribulations along the way. Okay, we have mirage here, um, and this is this illusion of what it should look like, right? And I suppose this is when we're talking about the dreams. This has been clear on what your dreams are, and this comes down to your core values, right? Um, and and again, the expectation of how you expect to be treated, okay, and how you will treat another. Understanding that there's going to be roadblocks and there's going to be things that come up in your lives that um, that you need to weave your way through, okay? And yeah, it's going to be a maze, yeah? Not everything's going to be perfect, but it's how you handle that. That is what matters. So when you get someone who's on the same page and you work together, right, like bees do in the beehive, and you have the same goals and you have the same visions, then in that regard, that is when things start to work. And, you know, it's like finding a problem and rather than battling each other about the problem, you work together to tackle the problem as a team. Yeah? Okay, so we have sensuality here as well. Express your sensuality. Yeah, see, this is the love from your heart. More often than not, we can um, want to be treated a certain way by people. It's very important for us to reflect on ourselves and say, are we treating that person that way? 
you know we want to be showing love we want to sh be showing kindness and tenderness and all that kind of jazz yeah are we reciprocating that are we giving that or are we waiting for the person to give it first you know we teach people how to treat us right and often we can teach that by example lead by example yeah um, so in that regard, I think it's really important to, um, to to begin with yourself, start with yourself. Are you treating yourself like that? Are you giving yourself loving, tender care? Right? Are you feeding yourself the right foods? Are you drinking enough water? Are you exercising? Are, you, are your thoughts kind and gentle and loving? All these things that you would like from another person, are you giving them to yourself? Honestly, like really be honest with yourself about that, yeah? What does that look like for you and how are you giving that to yourself? Because we often expect so much from other people. And we don't give that to ourselves. Yet we can be the hardest on ourselves than we are on anyone else. Like, right? We've got to get this balance going. We've got to turn the focus inwards. Our door. I love this. Right? This is this, this. When we're talking about sensuality here, this is this enthusiasm. Enthusiasm to express love, right? To be sensual. Not doing it because, oh, I'll do this so that I get this back. No, doing it because this is how we feel inside. Actually, truly, and authentically expressing that. Because when we do... We will only attract in what is an energetic match for that. What is a vibrational match for that to ourselves, right? And ultimately, that's what we want. So when we do that, and that becomes second nature, we're going to fall more in love with ourselves and everyone else and everything else around us. We've got currents here. We've got currents here. See, this is this about this flow. And this is what I was talking about before, right? There's going to be different currents that take you in different directions. Okay, some are going to pull harder than others. Some are going to go very slowly. Okay, they're going to take you to different places and you're going to experience different things. And this is the flow that you need, this sort of adaptability, adaptability to change, right? Be prepared for that. Change within yourself as well. Yeah. Okay, we now have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. I love this. I love this. Rather than fighting it and resisting, just accept, yeah? Okay, so two cards for trust. For Taurus, please. Give that one back. Fell out last. We have choices. Make the best choices. And we have leadership as well. But we'll look at that one in a minute. Make the best choices. The thing is, it cracks me out with this card because it's like, well, if we knew what the best choice to make is, we would make it right. But this is the thing about being clear for yourself, right? This is the thing about treating yourself with loving kindness. Okay, you're going to know when you are actually in that state, you're going to know what is the best for you because you're going to feel it within you. You know, you're going to know what matches that for you. Okay, and when something comes in that is not a match for that, it's going to be very easy for you to say, oh, yeah, I don't think this is the best thing for me. Okay, we have echo. And we have gentleness. Okay, this is really interesting, this echo, yeah, 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 be gentle, be gentle knowing, this is, I'm coming back to the thoughts here, the words that you speak, 
your actions, your vibration, right? Make sure it's gentle because things can can break. It can break things, right? Especially words. It can tear things apart, right? The other thing is that when imagine, imagine the words that you speak are an echoed back to you. They echo back to you. So sometimes we project onto other people out of um, anger or hurt, right? Mistrust, right? Not trusting others, yeah? So be aware that that will echo back to you, okay? So accept, accepting how things are, right? You can choose, you can choose how you word things, how you deliver things, you can make that choice, okay? So this is very important right now for you to take heed and ensure that everything that is coming out of you vibrationally, verbally, even your thoughts, right? That they are gentle and kind and practice that. Don't be too hard on yourself, you know, we're not all perfect, right? You're going to slip up. You're going to find yourself in this state of going, oh, why did you do that for so-and-so, you know? Just do it everywhere, you know, and it's not just towards people that you love. It's towards anyone. Someone cu cuts you off in traffic. There's something that annoys you. There's those triggers that you have. Try and just approach things a different way. Understand that you're learning every step of the way. Every day is a learning day, right? doesn't matter that maybe, you know, 40, 50, 60 years ago you did things differently. You've been doing things one way. All this time you can do it differently now, right? You can change that. It's never too late. Leadership. See, this is leading by example, right? Having the strength to do that because you do have the strength within, within you to do this, right? This trust, this transformation that is here for you, right? Occurs through acceptance, right? Accepting that what is, is. There's no way you can change that. You can only change things going forward now and have the strength to do that because you have the ability and that way you lead by example for the rest of the people around you to see what you're doing yeah and also for yourself to show yourself first and foremost i can do this tell me more about leadership taurus one more i think i need to pick this one up okay we have um, ear and nest. I feel like this is the transformation, okay? And I feel like it's, it's there's this something about taking your first breath. And it's sort of like, in that moment, particularly when you go to speak, when you take the breath to speak, that gives you a second to reflect on what it is that you're about to hatch. Yeah? What are you about to birth by verbalising what it is that you're about to verbalise? Because I notice here the bird is not sitting on the eggs. The eggs are ready to hatch. And the bird is waiting to see what happens. You know, and um, and I feel as though with this ear here, this transformation, right? Because you've got all these butterflies here in this person that as they gather the ear inside of them to breathe out, what do you want to come out, right? We had a card jump out before and it was thorns. Here it is here at the bottom of the deck. And I put it back because I was like, I only want two cards. But now it jumped out for a reason, right? Do you want the butterflies to come out or do you want thorns? What, what do you want to come out here? Really, really important. Okay. Because this is, this is going to impact, I feel, 
your path moving forward, whether you're going to be walking on air or through thorns as you walk through, okay? As you walk along this path. So this is something for you to work on right now, Taurus, to be very mindful and aware of your thoughts, your words, and your vibration. Okay, your energy that you're sending out. Not just that surrounds you, but you, that you're sending out to other people. Okay, because there's this really um, beautiful union here that can be had and in order for that to come in there needs to be this um this transformation so that you are a match for what is waiting for you okay okay taurus i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye